Hi there, I'm David. And I'm Con. Welcome back for another episode of Camera Peeps. David, what are we talking about today? Well, today I'd like to talk about recycling and repurposing older equipment. Yep. And uh, today I'm singling out port brace equipment. Mm-hmm. Um, now, because, you know, it, there's new products coming out all the time, and, mm-hmm. and port brace a fantastic company, been around for years, and they accommodate all these companies that keep making new cameras and recorders and things. But what can happen is some of the older stuff gets left on the shelf Mm -hmm. and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it they're very well made bags aren't they they've got the 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 best reputation i mean they were one of the first companies to make bags for even i remember umatic yeah, I think, brace. I think there's one out the back here. Oh, you've got yeah, one I've of those? Yeah, I've got something that's over <laughs> 30 years old, yeah. So they've been around a yeah. long, long time, haven't And they? I can tell you that their stuff does last. There you oh, go. Yeah. Yeah. So this particular model is a uh, MX24. Uh, this was for a mixer. Yep. Um, and I think most of the sound recordists have moved up because of the, the biggest sound devices, recorders, and they slot in their radio mics, mm-hmm. et cetera. So, look, so that fitted like a two-channel uh, mixer, I'm I think. I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. that was it. Yeah. But, but what it does for me is um, I've used this to put a distribution amplifier. So, if, sorry, moving out of the audio department, this mm-hmm. is now in the camera department, mm-hmm. and I've put a, a distribution amplifier in here. And because of the, uh, the access... Uh, the flaps on the side I can basically have I use this particular one for the uh, Sony a7s mm-hmm. so I convert the HDMI uh, the HDMI goes into the distribution amplifier that side comes out SDI this side so that's fantastic because so are you powering that with a V-lock I see I put a V-lock in there there isn't one in there at the oh, moment wow. but I put a V-lock in there and of course that runs the whole day so, so was that the whole idea of putting it in the bag you have the battery and the and the um, self-contained yeah self-contained yeah and I usually do that the night before the job mm-hmm. and so on the job in the setup all I do is uh, just mm-hmm. turn to switch it on basically that's fantastic that's a really good use of that bag what's in this other bag okay this one is a uh, MOTC7WM and I believe this was uh, for a field monitor yep and mm-hmm. I once again I got this at a good price and I use this to uh, for all my bits and pieces um, you know for mounting the mini cams and GoPros and things mm. so I know that's there but it, it is an old uh, monitor bag I won't pull it apart because everything will fall out yep um, but that was another thing that was sitting on the shelf and and I got these things at a, at a good price that's uh, fantastic. which is, which is also good but it's mm. it'd just be a waste uh, for this stuff to I don't know end up you know, at, at the tip or the recycle depot. Yeah. So I think this is a really good use for this. So basically we want to alert people to deals that might be out there. There might be port brace bags, you know, for older model equipment that are no longer really selling that you might be able to find uh, in stores or online and, and repurpose them. They're really well-made stitched bags. Yeah, that... well, here in Melbourne, uh, DB Audio, Yep. Uh, who I deal with, so they gave me a good deal on these and and he so was that's happy where you got these ones from? that's where yep. i got these from but you know this is uh because you know they're dated on the mm. inside so this was made in 2005 oh wow by pam so i'm not sure if <laughs> hi pam, pam. <laughs> hi pam if you're, if you're still working there yeah uh and what would have happened to this yeah, you know exactly. it would have got yeah. shredded or something you know mm. this one's nearly 10 years old this one's well actually it's coming up to 10 years old this is 2008 mm-hmm uh, what would have happened to this, you know? Mm. Um, and then there's, I've got one more. Oh, uh, this is impressive. This one is, uh, it's called a BK3 mm-hmm. backpack. And I use this um, to put my micro jib mm. and uh, remote pan tilt head in. And, wow. um, so and you all, can carry a whole mini jib in that? Yeah, so this has got the, the mini, that's got the dumbbell weight, the, all the cables that I need, all the accessories that I need. And I can walk to a, um, with that set up there, mm-hmm. uh, with the A7S uh, and, and the jib, I can sort of park the car and then sort of, you know, walk into remote locations and still get those jib shots. That's amazing. But, but that's a bag that you've repurposed uh, to carry your mini jib. But, you know, 
Uh, I mean, that's pretty heavy, heavy stuff. I mean, you've got the dumbbell, you've got the, the mini jib that's folded up. You need a bag that's going to be able to last and not get ripped after one or two uses. Correct. So is that bag uh, I, I th good enough for the purpose? I reckon it's pretty good. And I mean, just all those um, port brace features, you know, the flaps that conceal, mm. you know, the, the shoulder uh, straps, etc. You know, they're nice designs and, the, you know, the lugs to sort of hang things off. Yeah, so. They're very well thought out, yeah. the sort of manufactured bags. Yeah. yeah. Great. We'll catch you next time on Camera Peaks.